pilot, we were overwhelmed by the number of responses. Uh, we were able to accommodate in a 10-day period of time 317 candidates, which is phenomenal when you think that we run all of DBPR, all of DFS, all of Department of Education through our test centers. The nice thing about CBT testing is when we see our test sites getting full, we can expand our hours of operation very, very quickly. We can also compress them as we need to. So uh, we will continue to monitor this exam, monitor everyone's ability to get in there and test when they want to. If you have problems, again, my card's up here. Don't hesitate to call me. The way our test centers are set up is that we do run a number of different clients through the test center. So it's not a clean start at 8 and start another one at 1.30 or 2.30. It doesn't work that way. So we have anywhere from 10 to 20 carousels at every test site. You may have somebody sitting next to you taking an insurance exam. It's only two hours. So that seat's going to open up, say, at 10 o'clock in the morning. It, it all depends. I'd like to comment on the, sorry. No, you're done. I'm you're done. done. You're done. Yes, thank you very much, John. Appreciate it. Um, one thing I'd like to stress on the issue that we talked about, when we start in April, that the half-day trade knowledge will be in the afternoon. Uh, I'm just talking to Tom and Alex, and we might, if our staff can handle it, because we're trying to use the Tuesday morning for us to uh, organize the exam site. If we can handle it, we may start it up earlier than the one regular 1.30 or whatever in the afternoon. So we may bring it up earlier, the half-day trade knowledge, so that people can finish early and not necessarily leave at 8 or 9 like they do in Orlando. That's great. So we'll, we'll work on that. So again, please visit our website or PTI, and you will, you will see what we're telling you about our new administration and how the exam will be structured.